I put this sunflower on the end of a pillowcase. And what I did is I sewed this completely all the way up on one side of the opening to the corner of the pillowcase. And so there's the opening here. And then what I did is the other side, I only sewed it about halfway up, a little bit less than halfway because I wanted this one to have a little bit more clearance. Sometimes I have a hard time reaching high up near my neck. And I also want it to be a larger opening. So if you do this with a pillow protector that has a zipper, then what you can do is you can sew just one side and then have this unzipped and then zip it. You can zip the whole thing up and then when you need to put something in, you can unzip it either halfway or all the way down. Then you can wash it inside out on one pillowcase and then wash it inside out on the other pillowcase. And that's really great for gardeners. So, and the back looks like the front. And um, you could add a, a pocket right here for the outside, but why when you have two huge pockets? So this is a short um, video. It's got a boat neck here. Um, I added this because the mass of a standard pillowcase is 30 inches long and 40 inches wide. You fold the 40 inches so it's only 20 inches wide and then you've got 30 by by uh, 20 so if you sew 20 inches along the length you sew the width of one against the length of the other then what happens is you only have a clearance of 10 inches to put your head on one side and 10 inches on the other and actually uh, your head won't fit through if it's if it's um, only 10 inches. So you have to you have to give it a few more inches, and um, for your head to clear through the um, opening. So 30, and then you put um, this is 20 inches. This from here to here is 20 inches, and that's the width. And from here to the end of this corner over here is 30, except I added about two and a half inches. Um, and, and so I wanted a little bit more clearance for someone's head to get through the top. That's the only reason. I don't need for this to be big for somebody's, you know, body. It's just, you have to have something for the head. And what I have done before is I, I stop it right around here. And then there's a little place. It's like three inches where it just pokes out. And maybe nobody cares that it's poking out. I don't know. I haven't given it to somebody that I've talked to and seen in real life. You know, I haven't said, well, put this on. Let me try it on you. And um, I wear the ones that are 40 inches by 40 inches. And the one I'm wearing now is, um, let me put my key inside. The one I'm wearing now is one that I made out of fabric. I just did uh, 40 inches long, wide by 40 inches long. And then I have enough room for my shoulders and I have enough room for um, every, my arms and everything else. And so that is what I wanted to tell you. You can, you can cut it out. You just have to know that a standard size uh, poncho is 30 inches long by 20 inches wide and you can go into your linen closet and get ponchos from your pillowcases or what you can do is you can um, cut it out out of fabric if you have a lot of fabric but you don't have a lot of pillowcases 
but if you cut it out of fabric, it's going to take more than four inches. I don't know how many inches it'll take, but it'll take more. 